Hey, I'm Austin Walker with Innovane. Innovane is a Y Combinator backed medical device company that creates a replacement valve to cure these wounds. It's the only gnarly image I'll show this presentation, don't worry. But basically, 4 million patients in the US are affected by this condition. Historically, it's cost about $2.5 billion per year to manage, and recent presentations have it as high as about $15 billion per year. Now, the core cause of the condition is poorly functioning valves in the veins of legs. So what normally happens in an individual such as yourself is the muscles in your legs contract, they pump blood up toward the heart. When the muscles relax, the only thing that prevents blood from building up in the ankles due to gravity are these check valves. But with older age, obesity, higher blood pressures, these valves fail. Blood builds up in the ankles, causes pain, swelling, thickening the skin in up to 10% of all people, and these open wounds in about 1% to 2% of all people. Now, unfortunately, the standard of care is a literal Band-Aid approach. This is a patient I treated while uh, training at UCSF, uh, and this is a nurse applying a compression stocking. It is the gold standard of care, and not surprisingly, even if you get the wound to heal, up to 50% will come back because you aren't addressing the core cause of the disease. So our value proposition is we can implant a valve to replace this non-functional valve in a one-hour one outpatient-based procedure that to the patient can potentially offer a one-time curative therapy, to the payer can reduce long-term health care costs because they currently spend about $16,000 per wound per year to manage, and we can reduce that to a one-time cost of about $10,000, and to the provider offering a way to definitively treat these patients while offering high rates of reimbursement. We have built the core product. We validated it in long-term uh, bench trials as well as animal trials and are moving into our first human trial at the end of this year. Uh, so in terms of the market, why now? Uh, so the heart and arteries have been the big uh, spaces and medical device companies for many years. If we look at the number of procedures uh, for kind of the core market of opening up blood vessels in the heart and arteries, the number of those procedures have begun to level off if not decrease, whereas the number of procedures in the veins has increased significantly. Part of this is because the patient population not only is larger, historically they've been undertreated, but also there are high rates of reimbursement and payment to physicians for overall short procedure times. Uh, we've received a number of awards, uh, are backed by uh, a number of investors as well. If we look at the market, 4 million patients in the US, 5 million in Europe, with an average sales price in the US about $3,000 and 1,500 in Europe, this is a very sizable market, and the cost from our materials at scale for the implant are about $250. Uh, if we looked at our financing long-term company plan, basically we're raising a $3 million Series A to fund our first human trial. We have a term sheet in place and more interest than can fit the round. Uh, comparables, uh, valuations for, for implants in white spaces uh, gets quite high at early stages, so $458 million for 12, cardiac Q, $400 million. We can continue on to a clinical trial of 30 to 50 patients for European sales with a Series B of $5 million and can continue on to the U.S. market with a Series C of about $15 million. Uh, I want to highlight one thing. A lot of people get scared of the FDA um, for implants, uh, breakthrough spaces, basically products that go down what's called the de novo or PMA pathway. This is data compiled by Silicon Valley Bank of all exits between 2015 and the first half of 2017. Only one exit uh, had FDA approval. Uh, Ten uh, had CE mark, now basically European approval, and six were still in development. Uh, the founding team of three has invented and brought over 15 medical devices to market with aggregate product sales exceeding $3 billion, celebrating multiple M&As, including guidance for over $25 billion. I'm obviously earlier in my career. I was Forbes 30 under 30, oversubscribed our first round of financing. Dr. Chin, co-founder of Origin, became guiding cardiac surgery. Guidant went on to sell for over $25 billion. He's been involved with uh, two other device companies since that have exited uh, and has products on the market that are standard of care used in millions of patients. Uh, Tom Kramer is very familiar with lean operations, which is why we're able to use comparably small raises to get to high valuation flexion points for the company. Uh, he recently used this to bring Vortex Medical to market an acquisition on three and a half million in capital. And that's my th quick three minute overview. Questions? If I can master this high technology device again. Yeah. Okay. Um, so in the veins, there are, are there not multiple valves that go up the veins on your leg? Good question. There are multiple valves. There has been data that has shown that with a single functional valve in the right place, you can get wounds that have otherwise lasted years to heal in under 45 days. So that data is known in the scientific community. It is just that there's not an easy valve to replace uh, in that core location. So can you speak a little bit to the easy valve replacement? What does that mean? So basically, 
you go in with a minimally invasive procedure, you use a catheter, which is basically used for a coronary stents, arterial stents, you guide it in with ultrasound to the key location, and you deploy the device, which is self-expanding, it anchors in place and allows one-way forward well, that's flow. That's kind of like a stent? Just think of it like a stent, it just has a valve in it.